my beloved brothers and my sweet sisters as my warm and my hearty welcome to one and all present in this arena i am manigandan doing my first year ba history and i am the only art student here i am going to stress on the topic believing in yourself what is self belief it's the confidence and the self will that comes from your within a man without self belief is like a bird without its wings the ultimate thing of believing in yourself just depends upon how high how determined how efficient how thoughtful and how challenging you set goals in your life dream dream and dream dreams walk the precious words of a former president awl pakki jainul abdulin abdul kalam to each and every budding youngster of this nation thinking of a dream and that too very judiciously and thoughtfully one must given full effort hard work sacrifice patience determination and self belief to achieve it if you look at the beauty you will fail to do your duty but if you do your duty your life looks beauty dreams are like stars you can never touch them but they will show where your destiny is people with high esteem dreams definitely succeed but people who have only dreams without self belief will definitely fail everything is within your reach when you believe in yourself success is not a big thing but a million little things that you fight every day with your self belief i greatly inspire on this quote of mahatma gandhi do or die but when you do it with your self belief definitely success is yours try try and try till you succeed the words of robert bruce who has won his 17th battle after 16 times of defeat when he was defeated in a seventh battle he hid himself in a hut that he saw a spider climbing innumerable times to reach its web and at last finally it succeeded that gave him the inspiration to win him in a 17th battle even mohammed ghajni won his 16th battle after 15 times of defeat so never rest till you reach the everest because if you rest you will rust life is not the gap between your mouth and your stomach but the gap between victory and fame if you salute your duty you have no necessity to salute anyone but when you pollute your duty you have to salute everyone you can count the number of seeds in an apple but not the number of apples that can blossom from the seed similarly you can count the number of parts in your body but not the innumerable talents that each and every part of your body has when you could figure it out and fight it with confidence definitely you are the ultimate hero of the world success or failure is just a secondary thing but fighting your dream with confidence courage and self belief should be permanent success is not final and failure is not fatal but how you fight your dream with self belief that only counts positive anything is far better than negative nothing suffer today be a champion of tomorrow every marble of taj mahal has once undergone its pain has once undergone its hardship that is why it's one of the seven wonders of the world today a symbol of love a thing which can capture the eye and heart of any people around the world if there is no pain there is no gain success is 99% perspiration and 1% inspiration here i like to give varied examples of people who believed in themselves and came out with flying colors recently a girl has passed her ias exam and obviously you people think that she would have hailed from a very rich family with all god gifted almighties but definitely not she is blind she could hardly read but she competed in one of the most competitive exams in india just because a single reason she believed in herself Beethoven at the age of 14 he lost his hearing capacity later he became the renowned musician of the world because he trusted not his ears but his heart its will power Elvis Presley during his childhood days his teacher gave him a C grade a poor grade in music but still he believed 
that he could contribute a lot to the world of music. Finally, he won the title King of Rock and Roll. In 1904, Wright brothers discovered the first airplane. When they called the media and the society, the plane failed to overtake. The society named them Wright Liars instead of Wright Brothers. But the passion, the determination, fire within them made them rebuild the plane again in 1908 and they earned the credit of the first discoverers of the airplane. Sachin has hardly passed his 10th exam, but he believed in himself. Then he fighted innumerable battles in cricket and finally he won the title God of Cricket. A man who hardly passed his 10th exam, but today the first lesson in 10th is about him. Changes happen, miracles happen, wonders happen when you believe in yourself. Cristiano Ronaldo, during his childhood days, his teacher called him and said, playing football will give you nothing, not even food. But he trusted his legs, he believed in his heart, that is why he is now the golden man, the ultimate star of football. And now, in his name, thousands of organizations are around the world to serve the needy and the poor with food. Mark Zuckerberg, he was a dropout of Harvard University, but still he believed that he could find something new to the world. Later, he found Facebook, where he could connect people anywhere around the world. Steve Jobs, even he was a dropout of Harvard University, but still he believed that he could find something innovative to the world. Later, he found the Apple iPhone with innumerable and extraordinary futures. When Hitler was asked to draw the map of Germany, he drew the world and showed that is Germany. That's the confidence, that's the spirit. And later you know how much nations he conquered around the world. Dhirubhai Ambani was just supplying petrol in a petrol bulk. But he believed in his business, he believed in his entrepreneurship skills, and that is why his family is one of the most richest people in the world today. A man who hardly earned a house one of the most luxurious buildings in the world, Antila, with 600 servants, 147 cars, 3 helipads, and 27-story building. Abraham Lincoln was a cobbler. He was just stitching shoes on a roadside, but still he believed himself. And that is why he became the president of one of the most developed nations of the world, United States of America. And the last, but not the least, here is a visual standing example. Yeah, obviously it's me. I'm standing before such a huge crowd on one of the most prestigious stages just because a single reason I believed in myself. Coming together with self-belief is a beginning. Keeping together with self-belief is a progress. And working together with self-belief is success. And I want you, the youngsters, the pillars of the nation, to work together with self-belief and take India in a successful path and make it a developed nation according to Abdul Kalam's vision 2020. Whenever you feel like quitting, just remember why you started. Be positive, not my blood group, not my grade in max, but that's how you should live your life. Your mind is a powerful thing. When you fill it with positive thoughts, your life automatically changes in a positive way with all success. There are going to be a lot of hard things in life but just remember, only those hard things are going to make you stronger and beautiful at the end. The most beautiful things in the world can neither be seen nor be touched, but only be felt. Similar is the case with self-belief. Being a youth talk, this is my important and a funny note to you only youngsters. Have courage, confidence, determination, passion when you are young. Because when you are young with self-belief, you can change the nation because after marriage, you can't even change your TV channel. Today is a society where friends leave you once a job is done. Relatives approach you when you are wealthy. Strangers love you when you are richer. But when you believe yourself, your best friend is success and your best relative is fame. Just don't be a flock of sheep walking on the same beaten track. Be a lion. Choose a unique path because a man walks on the same path traveled, whereas a superman leaves his footprint so that others might walk on it. Just decide, you want to be a man or a superman. Everyone has problems in life, but what matters is how you face the problems with a positive attitude. 
A child on a farm sees an aeroplane above and dreams of flying. Whereas the pilot sees the child on the farm and dreams of returning home. That's life. Enjoy every minute. Enjoy yours. Live for yourself. Just don't live for others. Because we always like to sit in Taj Viventa, Lee Meridian, ITC Grand Chola, or Butch Khalifa, or some other expensive hotels with the allied people. But having a roadside tea with friends, the happiness is uncomparable. We always like to get dressed up in expensive suits with Armani suits and Louis Vuitton coolers. But wearing trousers and pyjamas are really, really comfortable. We always like to go in expensive rides like Audi, Benz, BMW, Bentley, Rolls Royce or Ferrari. But we could take our heart out only on a early morning walk. Always express yourself, trust yourself, have faith in yourself. Just don't admire a personality and just don't duplicate yourself. Because being yourself is classy, being yourself is elegant. Love yourself, the world will automatically start loving you. Just don't be a drop in the ocean, be an ocean in a drop. When life gives you hundred reasons to cry, you show life that you have thousand reasons to smile. For people who believe themselves, even sky is not the limit because they think of the man who landed footprints on the moon. Everything just starts with a single step, believing in yourself. When you believe yourself, you have a sound mind and a sound body. When you have a sound mind and a sound body, you have righteousness in heart. When you have righteousness in heart, there is beauty in character. When there is beauty in character, there is harmony at home. When there is harmony at home, there is an order in the nation. When there is order in the nation, there is peace in the world. Even a journey of thousand miles just starts with a single step, believing in yourself. Always make yourself the determination that if I can't, the India can't. If the India can't, in the world, no one can't. Which is a resembling motto written in each and every Chinese school that made them number one in Olympics, bringing so much of laurels and gold medals to the nation. I like to conclude by saying it's no necessity that you should have born with a silver spoon, but when you believe yourself, definitely you will die with a golden sword. The victory of my speech, just don't lie in getting your claps, getting a prize, getting a ticket to Singapore. But when you start believing yourself and changing the nation, there lies my real victory. Just don't go behind victories. Believe yourself. Victories will come behind you. Believe yourself. Trust yourself. Love yourself. Have faith in yourself. Definitely success will knock you at your doorstep. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>